and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish reviewing the market. So the spy gap down today after a a pretty big sell off on Thursday and it gap up actually. So we gapped up yesterday, fell, gap down today. Again, the banks reported this morning earnings season officially began today. And the next two months we should have lots and lots and lots of things to do and lots of trading. We'll be in active time. But the market overall has been volatile so far this year. We have a three day weekend coming up, so the market's closed Monday. Very difficult to ascertain exactly the open on Tuesday morning. Will we gap up? Will we gap down? I wouldn't worry about it. If you have a conviction, a specific conviction in the directional bias for your trades, whether up or down, I would hold that conviction. The issue is for many people, they're back and forth with their conviction and really have no conviction. That's zero conviction. That's negative conviction because you can tell by the wobbliness of the markets. In other words, the market has not fallen off a planet, which means that people don't have a conviction that the, the rally is over yet, and you haven't uh, gotten the rally up or the follow through with the rally to make a new high, which means people don't have 100% conviction that the market's gonna continue higher either to go long. So you have back and forth, back and forth chop. We've played some beautiful moves and gotten the momentum in the right direction this past two weeks. So it was a very good start to 2022 so far, and I'm looking to continue that, but I really take it day by day, day by day. And sometimes you have to be a little bit patient. So today is like an inside bar here for the market. We could close green, we could close red. We're not gonna really go anywhere higher, and we don't have enough time really to go anywhere lower. So today was a day where you might have done nothing or you might have done one specific thing. But I, I do think that after the holiday, you're gonna see the market show its hand more a little bit next week. And then of course you have more bank earnings on Tuesday morning, and I think Netflix is out Tuesday night as well, which is a big, big one for the market. So uh, nice, you know, nice sell off here. You know, we shorted the market yesterday. And then I called puts and they followed through today. Now, whether or not this holds and reverses, like I said, we've got, th that's three days away, four days away, Tuesday, today's Friday. So, you know, you play it each day as it comes. Each day as it comes. I get up and the rate the gap. And that's how I determine, are we gonna go long? Are we gonna go short? Are we gonna do nothing here? You know, and, and that's where we're at with it. But you can see the chop in here. I did warn everybody, today is probably not gonna be an easy day. As it turns out, we actually had a really fast trade and a short in JPM today. So it actually ended up being a quick, nice, fast day for the day trades. Um, so, you know, you really have to pinpoint what you're looking at, be specific, do not over trade. I will be very interested to see where this market goes, but the only thing that's gonna make this market continue higher and make new highs and just get bought up again, is gonna to have to be something that's extraordinary, like blow out good earnings and tech or the banks next week or something that's gonna move the market up. In fact, let's take a look at Boeing. That rally, I think, even faltered yesterday. Well, we might close red here today. We might close a little red here today. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Let's look at this. This is trying to hang on, trying to hang on, but having a difficult problem too. In fact, let's look at this. Yeah. So overall, I like to look at the SPY. I talked about this today on Cheddar TV. You've got the financials are a big part of the SPY. You had earnings out in the financials this morning. JPM reported C. They were both down. Wells Fargo was up and really actually did rally despite the fact that other things were falling. Goldman fell today, but those earnings are next week. It'll be interesting to see how Goldman reports and then uh, Morgan Stanley's next week as well. But JPM is a major, major bank and in a very strong uptrend and it fell today. Again, we did a day trade in this today and it fell. It doesn't look so great here right now. It doesn't look so great at all. So again, when you're looking for reasons for the market to fall, or you're looking for reasons for the market to rally, if in fact you need the kind of basic fundamental reasoning in your head to do something, you know, it's, it's just not there right now in either direction today, which is why you're seeing this back and forth chop with the market. Overall though, I look at the gap. So I'm not looking at fundamentals when I make trading decisions. I get up in the morning, I rate the gap, and I rated the gap this morning in the market, and that's why I warned everyone this could be a little bit tricky today. A little bit tricky today. Yesterday was super duper easy. I could tell yesterday that we were gonna fall very early, which is how we captured so much of that move yesterday. We pretty much got 100% of that move yesterday. But today was a different situation. We're not really rallying, 
and we're not really falling off a planet either, you see? So it's a wait and see, do specific things, see where we go, take profits and trades when you're up, be patient in things if you're down, if you believe in it, give the trade a chance to work, okay? If you're interested in more information, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Choppy day here in the market. We were in and out quick. We were done super duper fast this morning. I'm going to relax, enjoy my three-day weekend, and we'll see where we go next week.